little lady. You like a super worm? Yeah. Oh, okay. No way. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Dion and you're watching Reptiliatus. Friends, I'm gonna make something very clear. If you get to know me, you'll find out very quickly that I am not someone who A, takes compliments very well, I get all gushy and I don't know what the word is. I just, I can't. I, maybe it comes from a place of humility, I hope. I, I'm just, I am like, no, I don't deserve it. And I'm trying to also learn that it's okay to accept compliments because sometimes you work really hard or, or you do something great and it's great to accept a compliment you can be thankful for it and everything I'm also someone that doesn't try to attract too much attention to themselves however today is my birthday and you are now watching this a day after my birthday June 1st my birthday is May 31st and besides the fact that I'm now a year away from the big 3-0 I just want to take a moment to thank you each and every one of you who wrote me, whether it was on my Instagram, on Facebook, other platforms. I don't know how you guys even found out it's my birthday because I don't make a point out of saying, hey everybody, it's my birthday. Like, and, uh, sorry, I made that seem kind of like, yeah, bad if you do. There's nothing wrong with that, but I don't do that, right? Like I just said, I don't know how you guys found out it was my birthday, but nonetheless, there are so many of you to thank and and acknowledge so I just want to do that here thank you so much I was smothered with love and appreciation and I appreciate you guys so much check this out my friend Allura made me this hoodie there is literally a bunch of my iconic animals stitched onto the material there is either sunny or sappy one of the red-eyed crocodile skinks here we have Pingu how wicked is that and then up here the topic of the video too we have our lovely female toke gecko who for goodness sakes needs a name i'm sorry guys shame on me shame on moi but anyways how lovely is that and in case you thought that wasn't enough with all the cool foliage on the arm honestly i feel like some kind of superhero with like a super herp arm got all my reptiles ready i'm just like whoa like superpowers we also have got Sabzi in my pocket. Check it out, it's Sabzi's tail. Honestly, I don't deserve these friends. Alura, thank you so much. This was just such a special, intimate gift to me. I can't imagine how many hours you put into stitching these and creating these. And then as if you'd think that wasn't enough, let me show you something else too. Okay, so my friends, Hasti and Shion that just recently got engaged. So again, congratulations. I'm so happy for you. You might recognize them from Tiki's birthday video. Happy birthday, Kiki. Tiki! <laughs> <laughs> Hi Tiki, happy birthday. I love your... <laughs> they dropped by today and Hasti is an incredible artist as well. My friends are so talented, honestly. Look what Hasti painted for me. Can you guys believe this? It's Sabzi. Honestly, I do not deserve you guys. This was such a touching gift. I'm just so honored. So sweet guys, honestly, thank you so much. And then on top of that, I have to wonder if it was systematic. I have new patrons to announce. Thank you guys, you're too, too kind. So today I have four new patrons to thank for joining me on my Patreon and supporting this channel with monthly contributions. I wanna thank James, Tina, Drews and Puss, and Kara. 
Thank you so much to all of you for joining me on my Patreon and supporting my channel further. It goes such a long way in helping maintain the reptile room and I know that a few of you are cheeky and joined on my birthday as some sort of birthday gift and that was very sweet of you to do so thank you so much. If you guys want to learn more about my Patreon page, how you can support the channel further for as little as $2 a month, you're more than welcome to check out the link down below but I want to always emphasize that your viewership is all I ask of you and it means the world to me so thank you thank you thank you all right guys that's not important that's not why you came here right we're here to talk about Tokyo geckos today and as if all these gifts that I shared with you my geckos decided to also provide me with a birthday gift you know that your pets appreciate you when they give you a birthday gift and no I'm not talking about poop all over the glass or anything like that I'm talking about a real gift to be specific two gifts let's go take a look at tiki and i hate to say no names tank no way so yeah we have two lovely toke gecko eggs that are here as you may know, the female will glue them to a surface that she finds to be suitable for the eggs. So I'm sure they're getting some decent humidity and heat there if she feels that that's the good spot for them. And while she's out foraging right now, she's actually down here. You can see her foot behind that Dracaena. But uh, normally she's in the cork hollow right here guarding them. And Tiki's not far off, but it's nighttime. So they're out and about looking for food. So in that case, we could try seeing if they want to eat something. But honestly, I was just so excited to show you guys these eggs as an update for the Toke geckos here. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at how the Toke twins are also doing. Feed them some food. Maybe also see if they want to come out on a hand. I, I doubt it, but worth seeing. Little lady. Do you like a super worm? Maybe not. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna lie, that actually really startled me. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> uh, somebody's being shy. Holy mackerel. Well done. Ooh, juicy. Okay guys, we got lots of super arms that have been gut loading on some Apache super load. Let's go ahead and see. If the Toke twins were hiding there and somewhere back here, I saw you are interested in eating. Hello. Do you like a super worm? Come on, don't be shy. Look at you and all your glorious color, just like your dad. Yes. There we go. Big leap. See, that's what you need to do. Okay, let's try again. Come on. Can I see you? Come on. There we go. There we go. Well done. Now you tell me, was that good enough to come out for a second one? Do you want to come for another one? You got it. Nice. Ooh, speedy. Oh, there you go. Okay, that works. Nice. Come on. You got it. 
got it. Come on, yours if you want it. Good girl. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Lots of crunching. Good job. Now, if I'm being completely honest, guys, I do have to acknowledge that I've been so, so busy lately, more than lately, like the last few months. A few of you have asked me how the training with the Tokyo Twins has been going, and I haven't dedicated or put enough time aside to work on that that I'd like to have done. One thing I've really noticed is that ever since I moved Tiki into the larger enclosure, his taming has sort of gone through the window. Now that's not to say that he doesn't accept food from tongs here and there, but he's just very shy. And although we can potentially attribute this behavior to the fact that he's now paired up with a female, we know from the past when he was living with Moana in the 18 by 18 by 24 enclosure that the Toke twins are now in, that that wasn't the case. The two of them were very tame, outgoing, and yeah, it just went really well. So here I am coming to the conclusion that when you choose to keep animals in Vivaria that is a bit smaller, it creates a scenario where the animal may have less opportunity to hide, but when you put them in a larger enclosure, somehow they might feel more vulnerable. And so for today's question of the day, I'd like to ask you guys what you feel is more important. Should you offer your animals a larger enclosure so that they have more space to roam around in and do their thing, or have them in a bit of a smaller enclosure knowing that the animal will be more outgoing and willing to interact with you as opposed to be more flighty and yeah well you see tiki right now i'd like to know in the comment section down below what you think is the best thing as always i'll give your comment a heart and we'll engage in a little bit of a conversation i don't know maybe it'll just take some more work to see but in any case that was kind of the update i wanted to give you guys show you the toke twins show you Tiki and No Name, and again, we need to name that animal. Please drop some more suggestions in the comment section down below. I'll go back and look at that monsoon video and see all the suggestions you put in there. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. Definitely check out the links up above if you wanna see my Toke Gecko playlist with all my Toke Gecko related content. And with that all being said, I can't wait to see you guys on Friday for our next video. Take care everybody, have an awesome week.